from Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. It's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. Falcons taking on Teddy Bridgewater and the Carolina Panthers. The weather this time of year in the South, perfect fall football weather. And we've got the roof wide open here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Georgia. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. after a gain of two out to the 27. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Eight yards to go on second down. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Bridgewater's eight down. yards on the completion, but now they face third down. It's a That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. From the gun, Bridgewater completes it to Samuel. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. With the connection there, Bridgewater to Samuel for a Panther first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to take this one up only to about the McCaffrey, the ball carrier. The numbers for McCaffrey last week. 19 carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. And they've got a nice scheme going right now, and they run the football pretty well. In fact, I was talking with him on the field before the game, and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage total, and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. Now the throw pulled in by Anderson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. Bridgewater now from the 50. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. It's a gain of six. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Tackle made at the That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and five. Bridgewater again. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. It's a gain of And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. 
And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Takaris McKinley on the tackle. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And he will find the open man, it's DJ Moore. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. One thing we do know, he's gonna get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, gotta to continue to focus. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Here's Bridgewater. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing. First down, this is McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. And there's a catch by Christian McCaffrey, and he plays a huge role in the passing attack. He's caught over 100 passes each of the last two years, so he is a defense's nightmare because how do you identify him before the snap on every play? Is he a running back? Is he a receiver? Do you guard him with a defensive back, a linebacker? Whatever you do, he tends to have the answer himself and ends up making big plays. Jones making the play. Second and seven at the 22-yard line. A quick throw by Bridgewater, and that's complete. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be third and ten. Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play. Panther football to start quarter number two as they've got a first and 10 at their own 25. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The ball carrier. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that. feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. First down Panthers. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second and 12, Bridgewater. Got a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and pain. They go back 
to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Sliding out of the pocket. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Brought down by the last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Second and nine at the 26-yard line. To throw, Bridgewater. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second and nine. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Pressure brought in. Falcons get there for the sack. But that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. So Bridgewater needing to work a little magic after that sack on a third and long. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball. Bridgewater on first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. First down, Carolina. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's going to keep it here. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Second and inches at the 40-yard line. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And that is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay... and 10, Bridgewater. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Curtis Samuel. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 24-yard line. Second and six. Bridgewater. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. 
Bridgewater now. And he's got it complete to Anderson. Bridgewater. A gain of six there on first. To Robbie Anderson. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Second and four at the 40-yard line. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And there's Christian McCaffrey with another run. Run CMC, as he's known in the Carolina area. Easily the most productive running back in the league last season. 2,392 yards from scrimmage. He's just so dangerous every time he gets the football. But under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. To throw is Bridgewater. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. So he got free of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. That catch good for five. It's third down. Five yards on the play. And it's third down. Third down, Bridgewater. That's to McCaffrey complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 39. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Score Falcons 20, Panthers 3. Throwing is get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Dante Fowler. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. So Bridgewater needing to work a little magic after that sack on a third and roll. And that will be incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First down throw for Bridgewater. Flush. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding call. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go. They're still looking at a second down here. At the 15-yard line. On second down, McCaffrey. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. On third and one, here's Bridgewater. That's caught, it's Thomas. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Instead of a third and... First down, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's sack the 25. Playing to his left. He'll try and run it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. And the Panther first down.
Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Brings up second and at the 40 yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater. Tyler Davison. Teddy Bridgewater. And I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And this is going to be incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that. I was working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we... So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I... But I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So for the Falcons, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile